Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my October wrap up. So I don't know what happened in the month of October. I think to a lot of us October wasn't the best reading month from this year. Um, on my TBR for October I think I had 10 books on my TBR. Maybe 9, 9 or 10. And I knew I wasn't going to read all of them and I said it in my TBR videos. Like I know I'm not going to read all these books but I expected to read like maybe 3 or 4. Maybe four out of the, the nine that were on my TBR, and I only read two, and one of them was a graphic novel, so I don't know. Okay, so the two books that, well, I'm not really mad because it was still a decent month for the two books that I read. I just don't know what happened. I just wasn't like in the mood to like read, read. So I read when I felt like it, and that's how I ended up with just two books to read. But so far this month, I'm doing great, but I'm gonna save that for my TBR. Also, since it is November, happy Alzheimer's Awareness Month and it's Native American Heritage Month. So happy Native American Heritage Month as well. For the Alzheimer's Awareness Month, uh, my walk, just like they do like breast cancer walks, the Alzheimer's walk for my area in Louisiana is Saturday and I'm so excited. Uh, I cannot wait. We're wearing tutus and our shirts are supposed to come tomorrow, I think. So I'm going to check them in tomorrow and hope that I should begin. But I'm so excited for this walk Saturday. But anyway, getting back to my video. The two books that I read uh, were pretty decent. The first book that I read is Plastic by Doug Wagner. And it's a graphic novel and it's really weird. It's about this retired serial killer whose girlfriend gets kidnapped. But his girlfriend is a sex doll. So... He, she gets kidnapped by this this mob type kind of people and they want him to do a job for them and he pretty much loses his shit to get his woman back that he swears to God is real so it's a gross graphic novel but it's weird like it was really weird I only gave it two stars I didn't hate it but it definitely didn't live up to the expectations I thought it was gonna live up to I just thought like this sounded just so weird I was like this is gonna be amazing because I've never read anything like this before but it just it wasn't weird in a good way it was just really odd and it felt kind of boring while I was reading it the graphics itself throughout the graphic novel were were pretty nice especially like the last couple that we got at the end like they had like a section at the end of like graphics that I guess didn't make it into the actual you know the actual graphic novel which a lot of graphic novels do so I really like those but the whole save the damsel in distress uh, plot that was going on, I didn't really care for it. It it wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. I really loved the concept of it the of it following a serial killer and a sex and his sex doll girlfriend, but it seemed like it didn't work out how I thought it was gonna work out. It just wasn't done as good as I thought it was gonna be and it was just boring. The odd thing about it is during like the aggressive and confrontational scenes, I was like, okay. I, I, it's picking up I'm liking this and then in the off scenes like in between the all the action you know leading up to the next action scene it was just very boring and I started to get just removed from the store it started to lose my attention in the non-aggressive scenes and I just wish it would have kept my attention the whole time then character wise the characters weren't anything special it seemed like the criminals were your average criminals and everybody that wasn't part of the mob everybody that wasn't part of the criminal scene just seemed like they didn't belong like they didn't fit like they were just squeezed in to have the extra characters and there weren't any development in any of the characters it just seemed like a lot of the characters didn't have a purpose they was just put in to you know kind of be seat fillers and they didn't really have a purpose and I just felt like what are you doing here or they were mentioned once and you thinking they're going to be part of the 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 storyline and then there's it there was mentioned for that one page or for that one scene and that was it it was a very gruesome and weird story it was perfect for Halloween and that aspect of it being gross and it being weird but it just it wasn't working for me and I was just bored with it so I just wish I would have been invested more in the story it just seemed like 50% of the story I was bored like and that's like a big chunk of a graphic novel to be bored because it wasn't a long graphic novel and I was just bored when I was reading it and I was just like this isn't working and it's exhausting to be and to get in to start getting into the story and then like you get cooled off with water and it's like okay now I'm bored again so it just it wasn't for me I guess 
I was just, I guess I'm just disappointed in it, that's all. Like, it wasn't terrible, just disappointed. And then the second book that I read in October, and last book that I read in October, was Rain of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh, and I misplaced it. I think I know where it is. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Because when um, I went on my little vacation, like two weeks ago, we went to Texas, and I read it. I finished it on the way back. I'm pretty sure I left it in the car. But it's misplaced right now, so I don't have it physically. So it's just going to be up here. But I gave this three and a half stars. I liked it, but I didn't like, I didn't love it. Like, there were things that I was just like, why didn't you put this in the book? Like, why didn't you elaborate more on this and more on that? So, in short, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to fuck the synopsis up for this book. This book is basically about three things. Necromancy, royalty, and zombies. Okay, so that's the best way I can describe it before I give you the official synopsis that I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy. Officially, this book follows the main character, Odessa, who is a necromancer. And her job is to bring back the dead. That's what necromancers do. So in this world, in this kingdom, basically necromancers are just as high up on a chain as royalty. They, that, they, they are treated as royalty. Because when the king, queen dies, somebody of royal blood, even just people that have a lot of money they can afford to afford the services of a necromancer, that's what they do. So in this kingdom, it's the exact same king, the exact same queen, the exact same royal family that has been ruling this kingdom for hundreds of years. The exact same people because once they die, they get brought back to life by the necromancers. That's their job. There is a price that comes with being bought back from the dead though. It's not just, oh, you get to live life like you did before. When you are bought back from the dead lands, you have to remain shrouded, which means you have to remain covered. Every inch of your skin has to be covered. So they walk around with layers and layers of clothing and robes. And if anybody is to ever see any part of your skin, you immediately turn into a shade. And a shade is basically into a zombie. And then they have to... And as, a, as this shade, you can eat people and absorb their energy and even eat other you know people from the dead and you turn into a bigger stronger shade and a bigger stronger problem and when this happens the necromancers come in and they have to clean up after it <laughs> so there is a price to pay for being brought back from the dead the problem in this book is someone is purposely making shades and they don't know who and they don't know why you find out by the end of the book but you don't know who during the book you don't know why they're making this army of shades and that's basically what this book is about okay so I don't think I destroyed it too bad but I'm not the best at really explaining things so character wise I felt like something was missing from the characters and I mean like from all the characters not just certain characters I feel like from characters as a whole something was missing from them I feel like they needed a little bit more development I don't feel like I was really attacked I don't think I had a real relationship with any of the characters I guess you can say but the sad, the odd thing about it is even though I don't feel like I had like a, a relationship with them, when anything bad would happen, I did feel emotionally tied to them. Like when anything bad would happen to our characters, I, I would just like, oh my god, no, that can't happen. Like, And then I'm like, oh, okay, oh, oh my god, no, I can't believe that just happened. So if something bad were to happen, I was like, you know, I was caught up in it. But everything else, it just felt like people passing on the side of the road, like, oh, hey, how, how you doing? But it didn't feel like we were friends, like, it didn't feel like I had a relationship with them like that. I do, I did also wish that I had more of a background on our necromancers, seeing that they are a part of the main characters. We only follow, I think, it's five of the necromancers. Majority, most of it, though, is following four of them. And I just feel like I wish I would have more of a background on them. We get a pretty good background on Odessa, but for every for the other ones, I wish we'd have more of a background, seeing that we follow them through the whole story. They're not just background characters. They're in our face, and I just wish I knew more about them, and they're kind of like ghosts. With Odessa, I liked her, but I didn't like her. I hated that she had this suicidal kind of attitude, like Bella in Twilight or like Trish in um, the Divergent series like she like you know she went through a hardship and then she started to have like this suicidal attitude about her like she didn't care about her own life like she was just being reckless and I hated that about her but at the same time I liked it because when she was going through this you get to watch her hit rock bottom but then you get to watch her pick herself back up without 
because most YA books, the character hits rock bottom and then all of a sudden they need help from a man to make them feel better or just from a love interest period to make them realize and to make them feel better about themselves. You get to watch Odessa hit rock bottom and then pick herself up and motivate herself to get herself back together. So I like that part of it, but while she was going through this little suicidal act too, I'm like, oh, I hate this. Like, why do you feel like your life is thrown away because blah, blah, blah. Like, I just, I didn't like, I hate that. Because it's like this trope that I hate with YA when it comes to, like, the female characters. It's, it's never fails. And I just, I hated it. And speaking of the, and speaking of a love connection helping to get, helping to females to get through, you know what the fuck I'm trying to say. I was not a fan of the romance in this book at all. Okay, I was, I was, I wasn't a fan of it. Not because of how it was built, but because of who it was between. I just, I, I really, really hated it. And I was just like, this is really stupid. I don't see this. Like, I just, like, why? Why? It wasn't what I thought was going to happen. Because in a synopsis, you you know most you know it's about like this, you know it's like a bisexual romance is gonna go on, but it's not who you expect it to be between. And then who is between is just uh, it's very uncomfortable. I just think it was a really it's a weird pairing, but it's it's not far fetched. It's not out there where it's like that'll never happen, but it's very disrespectful given the situation. Like it's disrespectful as fuck given this. Like if you read the book. You know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, you need to read the book. Like, it's just a very disrespectful romantic situation that goes on. Not once, but twice. And I'm like, that's like... And it's not like it's impossible, like it doesn't happen. But it's, it's disrespectful. Then plot-wise with the book, I loved the immediate jump into action. Like, when the book starts off, you're immediately like thrown into some action and I liked it. It wasn't like over the top action to start off with but it was like a good action. It wasn't like this jog, this very slow jog into the book. It was like a, a nice sprint just to get your muscles loose. It was that kind of action in the book that started it off and I was like okay this is a good start to start you off already head and interested to be like oh what the fuck's going on. And also I liked how the world building, how we got bits and pieces of it throughout the book and not like thrown into it all at once and it you know usually when you get all the world building all at once it takes up like three or four chapters with just world building so I like that we kind of got bits and pieces as the story goes along you get to see the world as if you were a visitor and you're walking through the streets and you're getting to see everything for the first time you get bits and pieces here and there that puts it all together for you. So I really liked how that was done and I, I didn't get bored or feel overwhelmed. It, it was it was a nice pace. I also think Sarah Marsh did a good job with describing how the necromancers did their jobs. Like how they went and retrieved the spirits and brought them back. I just think she did a good job making it into like a little adventure from them finding the gates to go into the dead lands and that's not even the adventures that they spent in the real world outside of the Deadlands. I think she did a good job explaining how things work with them. But I wish she would have went into more detail about the other types of mages. So necromancers are the only one type of mage class. There are supposedly five main, and I'm gonna take what I'm saying main, there's supposed to be five main mage classes. In this book we only hear about necromancers, we hear about um, beastmasters, and we hear about um, weather mages. Two of the mages, I have no idea what they are. I don't even think they're mentioned in the book. If they are, forgive me. But I don't think I even know what the other two even are. But they did say there's five. She didn't mention what the other two are. With the necromancy, we get a really deep detail about them. Because the whole book is basically centered around them. And also with the Beastmasters, we get a really good detail about them. Because they're a part of this book as well. There is, most of the book is centered around the uh, Beastmasters as well. So we know about those two pretty well. Weather Mages are mentioned only as they know how to control a storm. Or they can, well, they can manipulate the weather. They can't make a storm. They can't make the... But they can manipulate the elements around them. And that's all we know about the Weather Mages. They aren't, they aren't a huge part of the story at all. There is a character that's kind of like... I think she's going to be more part of the main cast of the second book, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure she is. 
but she's mentioned at like the beginning of the story and then you hear about a weather maid at the end but not into detail about what they about what they do like not a whole class about them so i'm mad that we don't get a we don't even get mentioned the last two out of the main five and i feel like she dropped the ball on that like if you're going to mention that there are five mage classes i would like to know what the whole five mage classes are and explain to me what it is now don't get me wrong i understand why she didn't go into full detail about all the other mage classes because they weren't a part of the book but don't mention something that you're not going to elaborate on you say there's five of them but two of them i don't even know what they are one of them was just a quick you know pass through oh they control the weather boom and that's it i would have liked to get a brief rundown of all of them so at least i know what you know what i got to choose from and those five main classes aren't including the hybrid classes I guess you could say they aren't just the basics they're like mixed classes that get introduced at the end that we're told that there may be you know hybrid mages we don't even know what they are or how many of them are we find out what one of them are for sure but it, we don't know how many of the other ones are or what they might be and it's just it leaves so many questions of, and I just feel like don't mention something that you're not going to go into detail about like you can't offer me a cookie and then take it back when I say yes I want it so like why bring up these different classes if you're not going to tell me what they are it's like it, it's it's crazy so I just hope that's different in book two. I am going to read book two. Book two comes out next year. It's called Song of the Dead. And when I found out there's going to be a second book uh, and that it was coming out next year, I think it's coming out in the beginning of the year too. I'm like, yeah, I definitely got to read this book so I can read the second book. So I wasn't disappointed all the way. Some things like, you know, not elaborating on what the maze classes were and just not having a real connection with the characters with them not having too much, you know, I guess development for me. Those are the only things that really disappointed me, so I gave it a three and a half stars. I still recommend it. It was a pretty good book. Necromancy, royalty, and freaking zombies. I've never read a book with those things mixed together. I enjoyed it. Hopefully I find it. I'm I'm almost 100 percent sure that it's in my husband's car. I didn't lose it. And I was really freaking out. I'm like, how do I lose a whole freaking book? So I'm pretty sure that where it is. This has never happened to people. So I'm I'm pretty sure that's where it is. I'm almost 100 percent that it's where it is. But Anyway, that is all I have for October. I just figured I'd throw the review in with them since there was only two books and make it something. Because if I just mentioned, oh, I read two books. It was blah, 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 blah. It would have been five minutes. And I haven't really been a fan. Well, I just haven't been a fan of five-minute videos. I seem like I can't make a five-minute video anymore. All my videos are ten minutes or more for some reason. And I have no idea why. So, I guess I just wanted to throw that in. But um, yeah, that's all I read in October. I'd like to see what you guys read in October as well. If you read any of the books that I've read, if you want to talk about Rain of the Fallen, because uh, it was a pretty good book. Like, it really was. But the romance was very disrespectful. I just cannot get over that. Like, it's very disrespectful. Like, y'all have to read this book because it's, it's crazy. Like, but yeah. Thank y'all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. How would you like it if I do?